Hello traders, hello investors, how are you doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today Tesla is going up roughly 1% right now. It is a little bit weaker than the overall market. The S&P is going up almost 2%, the Nasdaq 1.43% right now. So it feels like Tesla is a little bit weaker than usual. But uh, I think the moment is extremely delicate for Tesla and I see the $680 as the most important key point for us to watch right now in the short and mid term. I will give you guys more details in this video. Just remember my dear friends, click on the like button to support this channel. Why? Because it is free, right? And subscribe as well because I'm here every single day to update you guys on Tesla and on other stocks. Now. Tesla is in a very delicate situation, just like the indices. In my humble opinion, Tesla will just follow the indices right now and the indices are doing some very nice reversal patterns. Uh, of course, we could have more confirmation, but they are already reacting and this is quite good. When we see the S&P over here, for instance, it is very close to this resistance level at 39.79. Now, if we break this point, I do believe we're gonna easily fill both gaps over here, okay? We have one gap at 40.96 and another gap around 40.78. I believe both gaps are gonna be filled. Even if we see a pullback before that, which I prefer, right? I, I rather prefer to see pullback than watching the index flying like crazy because it feels like it is too euphoric to me. So when we see anything going up, thanks to euphoria, we can easily see it going down thanks to panic. So I rather prefer to see clearer bullish structures, uh, reversal signals in order to call, oh, it is an incredible buy right now. Either way, the S&P is still bearish in the daily chart, but I agree, last Friday we did a fantastic hammer candlestick pattern leaving a very nice shadow under the candlestick's body over here, a huge shadow, by the way. And right now, we are doing a bullish reaction. If we break this purple trend line over here, we are gonna destroy this bearish bias. We are not gonna turn bullish immediately, but at least we are gonna reject this bearish sentiment. Now, if the S&P actually breaks the 4090, this red line down here, along with its 21 EMA, we're gonna see a possible, a possible double bottom chart pattern. It is doing another bottom over here, just above the 3858. If we do break this point, 4090, the S&P will trigger this pattern and the technical target for it is the, five, the 4500s roughly. This is what I think it's going to happen. Personally speaking, I do believe this is what's going to happen next. Guys, all my insights in this channel, they're all based on technical analysis, price action, statistical analysis, and uh, I, I don't use to share my personal thoughts that often, or at least try to not to, but uh, personally speaking, since we drop it too much, we just hit a classic, support level in the weekly chart. We are dropping too much, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks in a row. This is very rare. This almost never happens. I do believe we're gonna bounce back up again. And the 4,500 seems to be a reasonable target for the midterm. When we analyze the Nasdaq index, the Nasdaq is also doing a double bottom chart pattern. And by triggering this pattern, we are gonna go up and we have a crystal clear gap at this area over here at 14, 14.1K roughly. So we have a lot of upside potential from here. Yes, I believe we're gonna fill this gap, meaning I believe this, the, the NASDAQ index will go up roughly 22% from here where we are. Now, does that justify a buy? Well, in my humble opinion, it does, okay? Of course, we should wait for better other reactions more confirmation the breakout of this purple line over here the break the actual breakout of this double bottom chart pattern because as far as we know it could go up over here to the ima and keep it dropping okay so we, we don't have 
that much level of confirmation right now, but the risk reward ratio makes sense for a buy at this area. If you ask me, of course, it, it is not the time to go all in. It's the time for us to be careful, but the risk reward ratio makes sense. Of course, this is just my opinion, not a financial advisor. This is not a financial device. I'm just a guy, right? Like everybody else over here, I'm not a professional. I'm not a guru, just a regular guy sharing my thoughts on the internet. Now, how this is gonna affect Tesla? Well, in a bullish way, okay? Tesla is going to follow the indices, in my humble opinion, and the indices are reacting right now at this moment, which is good. We could have more reaction, could have more confirmation, yes, but it is already a good signal. Tesla is also bullish today. We are doing a bullish candlestick pattern just above the $650, this red line over here, which was a support level on August 2021. Wow, that's a quite old support level. Now, we are reacting at this area. We are doing bullish structure in the daily chart, just like the indices, okay? What is annoying is the $680. Why I think that's the most important game changer for Tesla? Because this point was a support level on May 12. It did work as a support level briefly on May 20. And then we lost the support level right now. Today, we retested this point as a resistance. This is a classic example of the principle of polarity, right? Principle of polarity. You may just Google for this technical term if you want. What, what is the principle of polarity? Every time we see a support level, when the support level is lost, usually it works as a resistance level in the future or vice versa. Previous resistances might work as future support levels as well. And there is a very specific and psychological reason for this phenomena in the stock market. Because think with me over here for one second. Some people bought over here, right? Because it was a support level. People clearly bought at this area. A lot of people. And then on May 20, a lot of people bought at this area as well. However, a lot of people shorted or sold at this area as well. And uh, they won this battle. The bears won this battle over here and the price dropped below uh, the $680. However, right now we are going up again. We are getting closer to this point. And as we get closer to this point, the bears, they are going to feel a little bit pressure because if this goes up above the 680s, they're going to be on negative territory and the bulls are going to be on positive territory. So they're going to do whatever they can in order to keep the price below 680s. If they are strong enough, then okay, this price is gonna drop, it's, it's going to find this resistance along with the EMA, which is another resistance. So this is a dual resistance level. Then we're gonna drop again and just resume the bear trend. The bears are gonna win. But if the price goes up above this price level, above the EMA, they're gonna get squeezed and the bulls are gonna be on positive. More people are going to buy. Some of the bears are gonna be stopped out, which means more buy pressure. And uh, we're gonna see a very nice movement afterwards, but right now we don't have any confirmation, okay? We are not above this price level. Maybe we won't be, maybe we're gonna resume the bear trend. Again, since the indices are already starting to react, I think you're gonna see some squeeze, the bears are gonna get squeezed at this area because we're gonna see more upside movement. The next resistance is this purple trend line over here, which might, might work as a resistance, okay? And uh, we are going to completely ruin the idea of a descending triangle chart pattern, right? Because if Tesla reacts over here, and if it does a crystal clear reversal chart pattern, which we don't see right now, by the way, Tesla could easily go up to fill the gap at 858 over here. Okay, which is going to be our next, our first target if this actually reverses. Again, let's just keep your eyes open at $680 for now. Let's watch how the indices are going to play. If the S&P is going to break this resistance or not, if we're going to see pullback or not. Either way, we have an open gap over here on the S&P. We have an open gap on the Nasdaq and we have a possible double 
bottom chart pattern on both indices, which were not triggered yet, but might be in the next few weeks or even few days, okay? I don't believe we're gonna trigger this double bottom this week, but maybe in two or three weeks, this is a real possibility, okay? So let's, for now, let's keep our eyes open at $680 in Tesla and watch this purple trend line on the S&P for now, okay, my friends? Thank you very much for your support. I see you guys tomorrow. Remember to subscribe to this channel in order to keep in touch with my future analysis. Click on the like button if you like it, this video. Thank you very much, my friends. Stay safe. Farewell.